and welcome to this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we will be doing the first round of predictions for the first week of predictions. It's going to be an absolutely fantastic season. The season I am very much looking forward to. I really hope it's a good season. Hopefully it will be as entertaining and as fantastic and maybe even a, 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 an amazing title race like we had last season uh, between Liverpool and Manchester City. Uh, it'd be interesting to see uh, how it goes. There's a lot of unknowns. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how certain managers get on. Uh, Graham Potter at Brighton, for example. Steve Bruce at Newcastle. Frank Lampard, of course, at Chelsea. It'd be interesting to see how the promoted clubs do. I have done a uh, video on my prediction so feel free to go and check that out if you haven't already uh, but the first game we're going to be looking at is Liverpool versus Norwich so this one kicks off at eight o'clock on Friday evening and uh, Liverpool have had an up and down sort of friendly situation they beat Tramia 6-0 as you would expect then they beat Bradford 3-1 uh, and then they lost to Dortmund, they lost to Sevilla, they drew with Sporting and then lost 3-0 to Napoli. So they didn't have the best of pre-seasons, they finished it off with a 3-1 uh, victory over Lyon. And then they went into the uh, Community Shield against Manchester City. This one they lost on penalties, it was 1-0 at half time, Manchester City had... Um, the better of the play in the first half and probably deserved to be one little ahead. In the second half, Raheem Sterling had a couple of chances uh, to make it 2-0, two, two um, but he didn't take them. And then Liverpool got back into it when they brought, brought, brought Matip on and took Trent Alexander-Arnold off. And they looked a lot better and they probably had much better of the second half and could have had chances to win the game. Probably should have won the game when Salah uh, head, headed the ball over the goalkeeper, but in a fantastic clearance from Kyle Walker. So overall, it's been probably a disappointing sort of preseason for Liverpool. Um, I'm a big fan of preseason form lower leagues. Like I think that's a good sign of how you're going to get on in the lower leagues. Um, but I'm not sure how it, you know, it's it, because it's it's different in the Premier League. Um, you have a lot of players coming back from international duty after the friendlies have finished and things like that. So I'm, I'm not going to read too much into that. But it wasn't the best. Norwich City there. Um, Pre-season, they did okay. Uh, they drew 2-2 with uh, Bealfield. Uh, then they played Schalke 1-2-1. They lost 3-1 to Brentford. Um, beat Luton Town 5-1. Um, lost 4-1 to Atalanta. And then beat Toulouse 1-0. So that up and down uh, pre-season, that's some good wins against the likes of Schalke and uh, Luton and Toulouse. Um, great win against Luton 5-1. But then some defeats to, to, to Brentford to to Atalanta to you know by more than two goals and then three goals in the case of Atalanta I think this one will be a comfortable win for Liverpool I just can't see Norwich putting up any sort of fight I'm going to go 5-0 to Liverpool and I think Liverpool will probably be top after the first week of predictions because they're just going to blow away Norwich in my opinion Norwich are going to be one of the teams that I think will struggle and Liverpool are one of those teams I think will be up there battling for the title. Next we go to the champions, Manchester City taking on West Ham. So West Ham, uh, their um, pre-season hasn't been the best. They started off with Altach, and they won 3-2. Then they went to the Asia Premier League Trophy. And they played Manchester City actually, who they were playing on Saturday. And they lost four goals to one and it could have been a few more. Then they lost to Newcastle 1-0. Um, they came back they, from there and beat Fulham 1-0, beat Hertha Berlin 5-3 and then drew 2-2 with Atletico Bilbao in the Betway Cup and then lost on penalties. Manchester City, theirs has, has, has been pretty pretty good. A 4-1 win over West Ham, a 0-0 draw with Wolves losing on penalties in that one. Kachi, they beat 6-1. They beat uh, Yokohama 3-1 and then 1 on penalties against Liverpool in the Community Shield. So that's not too bad at all. And one thing I would say is I've watched a bit of City and Kevin De Bruyne has looked absolutely brilliant. And it would be interesting to see how he gets on this season now that he is... Um, he, he's back from injury. He should uh, have a massive impact on this season. He was virtually out for the whole season. He's such a key player. 
I think that uh, this one will be tighter than the uh, Norwich and Liverpool game. I think Liverpool will absolutely hammer them. I don't think that will be the case here, but I think City will probably get the win. I'm going to go 3-1 uh, to Manchester City for that one. Now we get on to the 3 o'clock kickoffs, and the first of which is Bournemouth versus Sheffield United. Now, I picked Sheffield United to finish bottom of the league. I think that they will go down. Um, I think that they've just not got enough. Bournemouth, I predicted to finish around the table. Um, so the friendlies, uh, uh, this is how it went for Bournemouth. A 3-2 win over AFC Wimbledon. A 2-1 defeat to Girona. A 0-0 draw with West Brom. A 3-1 win over Brentford. A 4-3 defeat to Lazio. And a 3-0 win over Lyon. Sheffield uh, United's game were as follows. A 1-0 win over Real Betis. A 2-1 defeat to Burton. Uh, a 2-0 win over Northampton, a 5-0 win over Chesterfield, a 4-1 win over Barnsley, and a 3-1 defeat to Rams. So, overall, besides that Burton result, which, once again, you, you don't really know what kind of sides they put out and things like that, so it's hard to tell with friendlies. Um, they've been they've been okay. Uh, up and down for Bournemouth, that defeat to Lazio and that defeat to Girona as well. But overall, the performances haven't been too bad from Bournemouth. And I think Bournemouth... Uh, will win this one. I'm going to go 2-0 to, to Bournemouth. I think that they will have enough to beat Sheffield United at home. It's going to be a tough season for Sheffield United. Next, we have Burnley and Southampton. So Burnley have done a little bit of business in the transfer window and they have done okay in their friendlies. Um, I'm not going to count the first two, uh, Stanley Bridge and Crew. Once again, you don't know how much of a side they put out. They lost both of those. Uh, Port Vale, they won 3-1. Fleetwood, they won 2-0. A 2-all draw with Wigan. A 6-1 win over Nice and a 2-0 win over Italian side Parma. Southampton's games have been like this. Altach, they drew 1-1. A 3-1 win over Preston. Uh, Guangzhou, they beat 4-0. A 3-1 win over Feyenoord, and then uh, they beat Cologne at two goals to nil. So that's pretty good. I don't know how this one will go. I think it'll be quite a tight game. Maybe by the odd goal, um, if there is a winner. I'm going to go one all. Uh, I'm going to go one all, and I, and I think that could be the result. Uh, I don't think there'll be a lot in in this. I don't think it'll be a like a three 0 win to Southampton or anything like that. I think it will be a a um, very 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 tight game. Um, so I'm going to go one all for that one. Next one, we have Crystal Palace versus Everton. So Crystal Palace, um, they have lost Aaron Wan-Bissaka, but as things stand, they have kept hold of Wilfred Zaha, so that's not too bad. Um, they played Barnet, once again, that was, I think that was their under-23s, uh, and they lost 6-2, uh, and then defeats to Nottingham Forest and Bromley. Then they beat Bristol City 5-0, so I'd imagine that's when the First team has come in. A 2 all draw with AFC Wimbledon. Once again, I don't know what kind of side to put out. And a 4 0 defeat to Hertha Berlin. Everton's games have been as follows. They beat um, Carrie Bangy Sharks. One, uh, one all that finished. That wasn't a, a win. A, uh, Sion, they drew 0 0. A 1 0 win over Monaco. A 0 0 with Wigan. A 1 0 defeat to Sevilla. A 3 1 defeat to Mainz. And then a 0 0 draw with Bremen. Once again, this is going to be quite hard to tell because Everton last season they signed a lot of players at the end of the window, uh, like see Yerry Mina um, and Andre Gomez and Kazuma. So they signed a lot of players at the end of the window, and that sort of took time for them to um, to embed into the first team squad. So it'd be interesting to see whether that happens or not. Um, you know, will Moise Keane be playing or not? Uh, and the other signs. I think that they might make a few more transfers coming in the end of the window. I think that's what something they'll do. Um, so it'll be interesting to see who is playing. But I'm going to go uh, for a 1 0 win to Everton. I think Everton will finish in the top half. I think Crystal Palace will struggle. So I'm going to go 1 0 to Everton. Next game, the final 3 o'clock game, is Watford versus Brighton, which is a repeat of last season's opening fixture. So. Uh, Watford haven't done much business. I think they signed Ben Gibson. Brighton have done a lot of business. They've signed uh, Neil Mpai, amongst others. Uh, Matt Clark, who's gone back on loan, I think it's to Derby. So, friendly, it's a 2 1 defeat to Ajax for Watford, and then a 2 1 win over Leverkusen, a 1 0 win over QPR, and then a 2 1 win over Raul Sochdaz. That's not too bad at all. Uh, friendly wise for. 
uh, Brighton. Uh, they beat uh, Leverifring uh, 5-2. A 1-0 win over Crawley. A 2-1 defeat to Fulham. 4-0 over Birmingham. And then a 2-1 win over Valencia. So that's not too bad. I don't know how this one will go. Uh, it could go either way. Um, the last time they met, they finished nil-nil. So, I mean, that's an indication how how it will go. But with Watford being at home, and with them beating Brighton last season, might see if Brighton will struggle this season. I'm going to go at 2-1 to Watford. The 5.30 game is Tottenham versus Aston Villa, which will be live on Sky. Uh, Aston Villa, they've not done too bad in their friendlies at all. A 3-0 win over Minnesota. 1-0 win over Shrewsbury, a 5-1 win over Warsaw, a 4-1 win over Charlton, and a 3-1 win over RB Leipzig. So some impressive victories there, uh, as well as some wins against um, some teams that they should beat, like Shrewsbury and Warsaw. Uh, Tottenham, they've been part of the Audi Cup and the International Champions Cup, so they've been busy this summer so they uh, beat Juventus 3-2 Harry Kane scoring an amazing goal from his own uh, half or the halfway line uh, and then a 2-1 defeat to Manchester United a 1-0 win in the Audi Cup over Real Madrid they won the Audi Cup after drawing 2-2 with Bayern Munich and winning on penalties and a 2-1 defeat to round the fixture I think that was on penalties as well um, so a one all draw and then a defeat on penalties to Inter Milan in the final International Champions Cup so I, I expect Tottenham to do a lot of pieces before the transfer window shuts as well. Um, but it'll be interesting to see who they bring in. I hope they bring in some good players and, and, and the value of the Premier League can go up with the likes of some of the players they've been linked with, the likes of Philip Coutinho and Dybala. You know, they could make a massive impact on the Premier League. Uh, I'm really looking forward to, to all of the pre all, all of the games on the TV. I certainly will be watching this one. And I think Tottenham will win about three goals to nil. I think Villa will struggle this season. I think they'll stay up just about, but I think they will struggle this season. Uh, I'm going to go 3-0 to Tottenham Hotspur. Now we move on to Sunday's games, the first of which is Leicester versus Wolves. This one is on a Sunday because Wolves have the uh, Europa League. So Leicester City's... Um, games are as follows a 1-0 win over Scunthorpe, a 2-1 win over Cheltenham, a 3-0 win over Cambridge, a 2 0 draw with Rotherham, a 2-1 win over Stoke and a 2-1 win over Atalanta. Wolves games, they have had um, a, a couple of games in the uh, Asia Trophy and then they've had a couple of Europa League games as well. So they beat Newcastle 4-0 in the Asia Premier League Trophy and then one on penalties against Manchester City in the second game. Uh, then they went into the Europa League, a uh, 2-0 win over Crusaders, and then a 4-1 win over Crusaders, and then got through to the next round. So they will have um, that occupying them, the uh, Europa League, and that is something I think Nuno will want to do well in, and go as far as they can in. So I think they might uh, be tired after Thursday, particularly as it's the start of the season. I think that will feed into Leicester City's hands. I'm going to go for a 2-0 win to Leicester City. That's not on the tally. That is just moved for Europa League. Uh, next game is one of the TV games on the Super Sunday, and that is Newcastle versus Arsenal. Newcastle's games have been up and down. Uh, they beat uh, Wolves, uh, lost to Wolves 4-0, um, which was an absolute hammering. And then they beat West Ham 1-0 uh, in the third-place playoff. They uh, defeated uh, by Preston. That was a 2-1 defeat against them. They beat Hibernian 3-1. And then a 2-1 win over St. Etienne. So a mixed bag there for Newcastle. So the friendlies for Arsenal have been as follows. Uh, a 3-0 win over Colorado Rapids. A 2-1 win over Bayern Munich. A 3-0 win over Florentina. A 2-2 uh, draw against uh, Real Madrid. And that one was one on penalties. A 2-1 defeat to Leon, one all against Angers, and then a 2-1 defeat against Barcelona in the uh, Joan Gamper Trophy, I think it was. Um, so a mixed bag there for Arsenal as well. I think that Arsenal will get the win here uh, against Steve Bruce's Newcastle. I think it'll be tight because Arsenal's form away from home isn't the best, but they have brought in Pepe and Sabellos, and I think those two could be really good signings. Um, so I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to Arsenal. I think it'll be tight, but I think Arsenal will get the victory on opening day. The final game is Manchester United versus Chelsea. 
So Chelsea had a mixed bag at the start of the season. They played Bohemians and drew one all. St. Patrick's, they beat 4-0 in, lost to at Kawasaki 1-0. And then they had a really good result against Barcelona, win 2-1. Uh, a 3-4 win over Reading. Uh, and then a 5-3 win over Salzburg. And a 2-2 draw with Mucci and Gladbach. So one thing you could say about uh, Chelsea, they conceded a hell of a lot of goals. They conceded eight goals in the last three friendlies against Reading, against Salzburg, and against Mucci and Gladbach, which isn't the best record. Manchester United, they've had a very good uh, campaign in, in terms of friendlies. Uh, a 2-0 win over Perth Glory. A 4-0 win over Leeds, a 1-0 win over Inter Milan, a 2-1 win over Tottenham. They played a Christensen and won 1-0 in a 2-all draw with AC Milan in the final game. So that's not too bad at all. They remained undefeated um, after a terrible end of the season last year. So I, I picked them to finish in the top four. I think that they will, they will finish in the top four. I think that they'll have, get a bit of more business done. Um, towards the end of the city, towards the end of the end, end of the transfer window, and I think that will be enough to get them into the top four. I'm going to go for a Manchester United win here. I'm going to go two 0 to Manchester United, uh, just because they're at home. Um, I think they've done the better business in the transfer window, obviously because of the transfer ban for Chelsea, um, and that they drew last time. And I don't think there's a lot between the sides now. Now Hazard's gone, so I think Manchester United will win just because they have a bit more class in certain areas um, than, than, than Chelsea, in my opinion. So that is my predictions. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and also subscribe if you are new. And also another thing, put your predictions down in the comments. There will be a you know a copy and paste job if you want to put your predictions in. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe, of course, if you are new. My name is Mike, and I will see you soon.